Here at Fortside Fieldhouse in Fort Recovery, Ohio, welcome to Ohio Volleyball. It's bragging rights between the MAC Conference and the Shelby County League. With me on our coverage is Dave Bowen. I'm Jeff Oberholzer. Welcome to the coverage. Should be a good one. Number one, Fort Army in Division Four against number eight, Fort Recovery, Division Three. You're right, Jeff. Great to be your wingman here on a Saturday mid-afternoon. Two high-quality volleyball programs in Fort Recovery and Fort Army. And as you said, they are both state ranked with the Indians, number eight in Division Three, and Fort Army. Nothing better than they can do it but be at the top and they are number one in division four right now in what is a plethora of great volleyball in northwest ohio port Lormy, they are under a 17th year head coach john rogers they're 18 and 2 overall and 11 and 0 in the shelby county league those two losses to saint henry and it was uh, in a, a tournament and then also in the regular season yeah both both contests went the distance 2-1 in the spike off early in the year at Coldwater and then a 3-2 match where St. Henry uh, took down Fort Laramie. But other than that, an unblemished record in the Shelby County Athletic League at 11-0. They're going to win that league because no one else has less than two losses and they have one contest left to play in league action. Uh, you're right, Fort Laramie getting it done. Now the Fort Recovery Indians are 14 and four under fourth year head coach Travis Guggenbiller. Of course, five and two in the MAC Conference. The Fort Recovery started out like gangbusters eight in a row before being knocked off by Crestview and then their next matchup against tough Coldwater. They went to Marion Local at the hangar and knocked off the Flyers. That's not an easy thing to do. And then also in the couple of losses, St. Henry, and then a tournament play to Ottawa Glandor, but otherwise the Indians have been on the winning streak. Yeah, great start to the season at 8-0, and, and then hit a bump in the road, as you said, Jeff. A couple of losses back to back against Crestview and Coldwater. Huh, no slouch programs no. in their own right, and then a nice bounce back win against the Flyers. Uh, and as a result, then, getting the ship righted a little bit, but yeah, they they found some things, you know, you learn from your losses, you learn from wins as well, Jeff, but when you can really grind it out and, and take a look at yourselves, you can bounce back, and they've done that. 8-0, and, oh, and then 6-4 and four since, and they're on a four-game winning streak right now. For the Fort Army Redskins, they will start Skyler Albers, a senior, number two, number six, Avery Brandaway, a junior, number seven, the setter, Jenna Barhorst. She'll be going to Xavier University, just announced. Number nine, Kate Luthman, a junior. Number 20, Summer Horing, a senior. Number 21, Victoria Mesher, a junior. The libero is Howley Grillio. And for Fort Recovery, they will start number two, Mara Pearson, a senior. Number three, Sage Luthold, a senior. Number 10, Tegan Fortcamp, a senior. Number 11, Kennedy Molenkamp, a junior. Number 12, Paige Guggenbeller, a senior. Number 22, Carly Kneekamp, a junior, and the libero is Callie Wendell. We're getting ready to get started. The officials, R1 is James Shoemaker, R2 is Betsy Pettigeen. So R1 is up in the box, and down to the floor is Pettigeen. And in our JV match today, it went three. It was a dandy. Fort Laramie comes away with the two to one victory. Mara Pearson for the first Spy, uh, first serve and the spike attempt off the top of the net. That was by Victoria Mesher and first point going to full recovery. That transition from defense to offense, that'll be a key for both squads today, Jeff. Mar Pearson serve, successful. The set, spike back over by Mesher. And a short hit back over by Fort Recovery on the kill by Tegan Fortcamp. Yeah, Tegan Fortcamp, she is a solid contributor for this Fort Recovery team. She leads the squad in kills with 227 coming into today's matchup. And the serve back over by Pearson. For Larmy, back over, nice hit attempt by Brandaway, tipped over by Fort Recovery. Now back over again by Brandaway. 
for recovery with the kill, and that is number 12, Paige Kukenbiller. Again, the action fast and furious going back and forth across the net. That transition to defense to offense, you got to put some heat on the opponent. And right there, Fort Recovery able to do so and come up with the point. Mark Pearson right now, the Indians a 3-0 run. Brandaway, she'll find the middle of the back row for the kill. Brandaway, Brandaway stops the bleeding, if you will, a little bit here early on. Gets Fort Loramie on the board. The battle of the forts, if you will, mm -hmm. Jeff. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. 3-1 score. And four recovery, hitting it into the net. That was taken Fort Camp. Yeah, Fort Camp, you won't see her do that very often. She's usually really skilled at the net, but unfortunately puts that one in at point for Fort Laramie. So Brandaway continues to serve for Fort Laramie. Set at the net, and a block, and a tip back over for Fort Laramie, and that was Summer Horing. Summer Hoying and Victoria Mesher both right there. If you're going to tip it, you got to get some height on it because both teams are tall at the net. Well, it went from 3 0 now to 3 3. Take it Fort Camp back over. The spike keeping it alive is Fort Recovery. And free balling it back over. Guggenbiller. Quick hit. Nice save by Fort Recovery on Mesher's hit by Fort Lormy. Back over again. Boy, this is fast and furious. And a quick tip over is there by Barhorse. The first changeup of the match, if you will, first set where Barhorse goes over on two. It's been bump set spike for both squads up to this point. She gets the point because of the changeup. Good serve as Fort Lorman continues. They're up 4 3. The Redskins with the lead. And on the attack is Summer Hoying. Summer Hoying, she leads Fort Laramie and kills 247 coming into today's match. A heavy arm, and that's a compliment. That ball had a lot of force behind it. Fort Recovery unable to do anything with it. Take it Fort Camp, back over for the Indians. Nice dig on the play by Luthman. Back over is Hoying. Set the free ball over by taking Fort Camp, and that's going to drop. Great play by Fort Recovery. Fort Lormie almost digs it out. Jeff, I think we're just going to have to settle in. <laughs> yeah, I think so. There's yes. going to be a lot of great plays in today's match. It's a Donnybrook, that's for sure. Little Barrow, Callie Wendell with a serve for the Indians. Nice spike and kill by Semper Hoy. Yeah, I think that's one that Hoying, if she could get, take it back in the sense that I don't think she hit that square, but as a result, though, when you're good and you get a little bit lucky, the talent comes through. She gets the point on the little bit of a miss hit. Victoria Mesher back to serve for Fort Laramie. And the block right at the net by Brand, uh, not Brandaway, but uh, number two, Skyler Albers. And Jenna Barhorse was right there as well. And she's your setter. Man, that's a wall right now for Fort Laramie. That Fort recovery. He's got a blast through. Raises the top of the net, saved by Fort Camp. And then into the net, Fort Recovery by Paige Guggenbiller. Couldn't save it. And this is a situation where, again, Fort Recovery, a little bit of danger zone. Coach Guggenbiller senses it. He's going to take a timeout, Jeff. Timeout? 8-4, to four, Fort Laramie leading Fort Recovery. You're watching Volleyball on WOSN. Today's spike sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And there has been some spikes already. <laughs> Absolutely. No place for the weak of heart here for this match today. And again, Coach Guggenbiller down four points. A great timeout, in my opinion. We'll see how it plays out, obviously, on the court. But a little bit of a run by Fort Lorming. He's got to get his squad centered. Good serve out of the timeout. And taking Fort Camp with the kill off of Avery Brandaway. Can't have any better medicine than that. Go to Fort Camp right there. The leader in kills for Fort Recovery, and she does what she does. Gets a point for your squad. 
they're playing hard. That timeout just again to stem the tide a little bit, see if Fort Recovery can continue to build on it. Kayla Heitkamp with the serve for Fort Recovery. Back over by Fort Loramie. Running one hit is by Kennedy Mullenkamp. Quick set and a smash is there. The kill for Summer Hoy. Summer Hoying again. You can see when she can get in position from this left side to do everything technically correct, she hits the ball hard. Ellen Furling is now in for Fort Loramie. And going out is Luthman. By the way, the libero is in. Hallie Grillio for Fort Loramie. Fort Laramie hits it from the back row, but unfortunately they were on the wrong side of the candy cane. So that's out, give the point to the Redskins. And that's gonna be an ace. Janet Barhorst. She has 32 aces on the year, make it 33. She's second on her team behind Albers and leads the squad in serve percentage at 94. Set for ticket for camp. Back over the dig by Grillio. And here comes the smash and kill again by Summer Hoying. She's on a roll. Fort Recovery trying to recover. Number two, Mara Pearson gives a great effort, but unable to dig that one out. And you can see this offense for Fort Lormy, how potent it is, Jeff. Incredible. You know, we can tell the viewers that they can pretty much go on the backside and serve wherever they want, as long as they're behind the line. Taking Fort Camp on the hit and right into the net on the short one is Brian DeWitt. So you so have break surface. Yeah, you have an air on Fort Lormie's side of the net, something we haven't seen either team do much of. When they've been able to execute, they have done it very, very well. It's been fun to watch thus far. Back is taken for camp to serve. Nice dig that time by Brandaway. And there's a great block by Mara Pearson at the net. So Mara Pearson gets the kill. Taken for camp will continue to serve. It's 12 7 on the Reese Myring and Company CPA's scoreboard. That one is shot into the net. We'll give it back to Fort Lormie. You, you want to be effective and crafty with your serve, but you can't be too fine in a match like this, especially when you're down six. You've got to get them in. Fort Recovery unable to do so right there. Fort Lormie. And it's, it's kind of a shorter spike and kill, but successful by Avery Brandaway. Brandewee second on the squad behind Summer Hoying with kills with 160 for the junior. Serve successful by Hoying. Back over by full recovery. This one is shot into the net by Ellen Frilling. So that will give the service back to full recovery. So again, right now, Fort Recovery's got to start digging in. We're halfway through the first set. Can't trade one for one. Mm. Got to start going two for one, three for one to dig yourself back into this first set. Try and get momentum on your side. You know, when you have that senior leadership, both teams with seven seniors on their roster. Kenzie Garkey on the serve for Fort Recovery and return by Port Lormie. Bow back over and Port Lormie will hit it back over and off the block. A kill by Summer Oring. Right now, she's doing it at the net and behind the net. Yeah, great spike from behind the 10-foot line through the block by Fort Recovery. Extends the lead to seven, and the serve is on the Redskins side with Skylar Albers. Albers with the serve, dig by Mara Pearson, and she will free ball it back over the net. Set and tipped over short by Brandaway. And Fort Recovery will free ball it back over by Mullen Camp. To back over and in on the short kill by Mesher. Victoria Mesher with the kill. Fort Recovery going to take their second time out. You're watching State Great Volleyball on WOSN.
Today's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. So what have you seen so far out of both these teams? Well, I see a lot of hustle. Absolutely, Jeff, for both squads. But with Fort Laramie, what I'm seeing a little bit is like when you're watching a, an outstanding choreographed dance, everybody is on the same page. The left hand knows what the right hand is doing, and they are just very, very impressive. And they come away with an ace right there. Yeah, with the help of just hitting the top of the net and back over, threw it off enough, and Skylar Albers with an ace. And that's her 45th ace of the season. She leads the Redskins in that category. Set, taking Fort Camp, and gets the kill. And you know, Fort recovering, one of the things I, I think that Coach Guggenbiller came to realize, you know, they go 8-0, and then they start um, having some tough matches against high quality opponents, but his back row, and they've improved tremendously, but still with all that being said, Fort Lormy is picking on that back row of Fort Recovery a little bit. And that was a hard spike and kill for Ellen Thrilling. And I don't care who was in the back row on that one, yeah. Jeff. That was gonna be a point. That was eight ball corner pocket to the hardwood. Fort Lormy very impressive here as we're heading towards the end of the first set. So Ford Laramie will have Julian Geyer, but that goes into the net on the serve, so point four recovery. Again, down eight, not out of it. See if Fort Recovery can dig in and maybe get a little run going here and fight their way back into this set. Our Pearson with a serve, quick hit back over. Nice play by Barhorst, and then hit into the net by Fort Recovery by taking Fort Camp. You're right. I believe that was number 12 for Fort Recovery. Paige Guggenbiller saved that one from getting down on the wood when uh, Fort Lormley hit it over from Barhorse. You're right, but unfortunately unable to get the ball across for a point. Brandaway back to serve for Fort Lormley. Take by Pearson. And the hit by Fort Recovery by Guggenbiller is blocked right square at the net. Yeah, Hoying and Mesher at the net for Fort Lormley. Woo! Jeff, it's intimidating. You just got to keep hitting it hard, see if you can blast it through. That serve is long and out of bounds by Brandaway. Great decision by Mara Pearson. She watched that one all the way down to the hardwood to make sure it was out. Sort of like Pete Rhodes. He watched that ball <laughs> yeah. go into the catcher's mitt. She did a great job right there. Callie Wendell, the libero with the serve for full recovery, back over. And a little short, but it's affected by Hoying. Back over by the Indians. Quick set, tipped back over by Mesher. Blocked again on the hit by Guggenbiller. The opposite side is taken for camp with a soft hit. Quick hit back over, and that is in and successful by Barhorst. So heady at the net, Jenna Barhorst. She's the quarterback. That's what you look at the set or the equivalent of with football, and that time again, she goes over on two, and Fort Recovery unable to come up with it. Taking Fort Camp, too long, out of bounds. So the point going to Victoria Mesher. She'll continue to serve for Fort Lormy. So right now, Fort Recovery, you're looking to stem kind of in that the momentum. danger zone right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely in Kenny Loggins' land. <laughs> A little bit of Top Gun action. Yes. But. But you want to keep hammering. You want to look for holes hmm. in that defense here. Unfortunately, they don't get the point there, Jeff. But again, volleyball, such a game of momentum. Maybe you Such a game of inches as yes, well. Yes, yeah. Maybe you don't win this set, but maybe you find something and you go into set two feeling a little bit better about yourselves. I'm taking four camp on the last one, hit right down the line and went out of bounds. And then this serve by Victoria Mesher into the net. 23-12 on the Reese, Myring, and Company CPA scoreboard. We're in set one. Kayla Heitkamp in the serve for Fort Recovery. And that one's into the net. The trade net serves. Set point for Fort Laramie. And it has been an impressive display. Mm -hmm. I've seen Fort Recovery three times, seen them scrimmage a little bit. This is the first time for me with Fort Laramie, and they are as good as advertised. 
And that one's a kill by Sage Luthold toward the back. If you're wondering if the Fort Loyalty player wouldn't have touched it, it probably would have been out. But when you're that close to the line, you're not sure. Take it Fort Camp. Mesher, Fort Camp, Fort Recovery, tip back over by Luthold. Masher again, off the block of Kennedy Mullenkamp, and that will be the match. The first set in this match. 25-13, Fort Lormy with a victory. We'll come back with uh, set number two here at Fortside Fieldhouse and Fort Recovery coming up on West Ohio Sports Network, WOSN. Pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.net or dash net dash WOSN dash dot TV. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Well, a 25 to 13 Fort Laramie victory in set number one. A lot of authority showed by the number one ranked team in Division Four. Yeah, and if you're Coach Rogers, you're just stressing to your team, hey, we played a really smooth first set, but Fort Recovery has the ability to come back. Let's continue to play our game, and let's continue to attack. We've got them down a little bit. Let's get off to a good start, and let's keep pushing the buttons. Fort Recovery, Coach Guggenbiller, hey, We've seen some things here. I think we took their best shot, girls. Let's just keep battling here, put ourselves in position. We need to get off to a good start as well. well first serve here in set number two, Brandon Wade. Back over is taking Fort Camp. Quick set, tip back over deeper by Hoying. Fort Camp again, quick set, blocked at the net by Mesher. And this one with authority by Hoying. Again, Jenna Barhorse, just so skilled in that setter position. She goes short set, then she goes long set, and again, she's got the, the personnel around her, a plethora of riches as a setter, and she use, utilizes all of them. Free balling it over for recovery by Guggenbiller. And that set was a little too high, and mistiming the jump was Mesher. Yeah, went with a shoot right there, you got to be on the same page, and unfortunately for Fort Lormie, they weren't on that particular occasion. Recovery gets the point, see what they can do here, get a little run going themselves. Quick set, this one is long out of bounds on the kill attempt by Hoying. Hoying on that one, she didn't attack the ball as much as she has, uh, as, as we've witnessed in the first set, aimed it a little bit, and as a result, it went long and out of bounds. Continuing to serve is Wendell. Set right back and in between the front and the back row by Hoying. Hoying goes with the change up herself right there. Says, okay, I hit that last one long. Got a good bump set from Jenna. Let's just tap this one over, finds the hardwood, give her the point. Skyler Albers is back in for Fort Army. Taking Fort Camp. Nice save by Luthman and free balling it over is Brandewee. Back set. This one hit into the net by Paige Guggenbiller. Point for Fort Lormy. Fort Lormy does a great job defensively covering the hardwood back there off of that Fort Camp spike. And as a result, they're able to change that into offense and get the point. Seems like Fort Lormy, though, they cover all bases of the court. There's a spike and kill by Barhorst. You're right, Jeff. They are very, very impressive. Again, this Fort Recovery Squad is a quality team in, in Fort Lormy. We can see why they have that number one ranking right now. Take it, Fort Camp. They'll find the corner just to the right of. Mesher for yeah, the point. Does a great job going down the line, does Ford Camp. Money to be made right there. It's a small window, but she finds it. 
gets a point for her team, cuts it to one. Spike sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone. And of course, a spike. This one is also a spike and killed by Summer Hoying. Yeah, Hoying loves that cross court spike. Eight ball corner pocket right there. Finds nothing but the hardwood. And as a result, gets a serve back and increases the lead to two. You just feel like one of these two teams is going to go on a run here real quick. And this one is hit short by Kennedy Mullenkamp and a point for Lormy. Barhorst. Coach Guggenbiller giving his kids some props here right now to dig in. This one is hit long and saved by full recovery. And now Tegan Fortcamp has it blocked at the net. Right back on the full recovery side on the play by number two, Skylar Albers. And timeout by Guggen Miller at full recovery. We're in second set, 7-3. Fort Army leads full recovery. You're watching Ohio Volleyball and WOSN. Check out our website, WOSN TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state of Ohio. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Jeff Overholzer yeah. along with uh, Dave Bowen. Fort Lormy on a three-point run. Coach Guggenbiller calls that timeout like he did in the first set, down four early. See if they can dig out of it. And like in the first set, Fort Recovery gets a point coming out of the timeout. Well, that time Summer Hoying was trying to go through the block, and Kennedy Mullenkamp put it back on the other side for Fort Recovery. So taking Fort Camp back to serve the Indians and into the net. You know, and I'm sure Guggenbeller is thinking the same thing. You cannot make those kind of mistakes when you're playing a quality program. But you can't just serve it easy over right. the net against a quality program right. either. You got to make them challenge. You have to challenge them from the transition from defense to offense. That one blocked by Kennedy again on the spike by Brandaway. Brandaway will get it back again off the touch for recovery. We'll stick it back over. Saved by Fort Army and free balling it back over is Hoying. Back set down the line. It is out. Just barely out, but that was one of the few free balls we've seen go over the net for Fort Laramie. Fort Recovery tried to take advantage, just a little too fine and out of bounds. But Kennedy Mullenkamp tried to put it right mm -hmm. down the line and could not. Fort Recovery will now try to free ball it over and they can't. Two straight points by Summer Hoy. Fort Lormie. Yeah, and again, just like the first set, this is where Fort Lormie started to pull away. Under 10, they're up six now at the 10 mark. Make it seven with that spike going long. And Mark Pearson tried to put it in the back line and did not, just missed it by inches. Serve continues for Hoying. Full recovery off to free ball it over by Mar Pearson. Quick set, the shot is in and good by Skyler Albers. High school volleyball, the short set, it's such a lethal weapon right there, and Barhorse and Albers execute it to perfection. Continuing to serve is Hoying. Line drive just over the net. Set for Mar Pearson, tips it over, returned. By Albers. Yeah, carbon copy of the last play. Bar horse to Albers. She didn't even really have time to set up, but she still hit it with authority. Tipped over by Fort Recovery by Luthold. This one hit back over. Good set that time by the libero, Haley Grillio. And then back over was Jenna Barhorst. Another Fort Recovery timeout for head coach Travis Guggenbiller. Fort Lormie has opened up a 14-4 lead here in set two after leading 
And then winning the first set, 25-13, leading this matchup one set to none. We're back with more volleyball coming up on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Fort Recovery is hoping to break a little bit of that momentum, but so far, the mojo is still with Fort Laramie. It sure is, and it had a good look at Coach Rogers' huddle at this particular time during this timeout. And again, just a good conversation between he and his squad, and again, they are playing very, very well right now, Jeff. Set is for taking Fort Camp, and that is a kill. Again, for recovery, does what you want coming out of a timeout. They execute and get the point off the kill, but they've got to put a run together for themselves to get back into this second set. Megan Ebers, senior, back to serve for the Indians. And we're at Fort Side Fieldhouse, Fort Recovery, Ohio, with this matchup. Back set blocked at the net and back over and jump at the net. Well, I'll tell you, both sides are just keeping that volleyball going. And that is in the net as for recovery. Kayla Heitkamp tried to save it, could not. And not only is there a lot of action at the net, but neither team is in the net. They're doing a great job of playing over the top of the tape, not getting into the net. A lot of, lot of athletic ability out there, Jeff. Albers with his serve for Fort Laramie. For recovery on the tip and back over by Fort Laramie. Set for ticket for camp. Nice dig by Barhorst. Nice spike by Brandewee. For recovery will return and will get it done by Mara Pearson. Mara Pearson with the kill. She's second on Fort Recovery in that category with 147 on the year. The senior, number two, Mara Pearson. Of course, we will also know on Sunday, October the 8th, when these teams will, who they'll play. You're right, the draw is tomorrow as far as this game being played on Saturday, broadcast Sunday evening. That was hit into the net by Summer Hoying. So point for Kennedy Mullenkamp. And 25-13 was set one, Fort Laramie with a victory. Set two, we're in right now, 15-7. Now it's almost like Fort Laramie for the first time has gotten out of a little bit of rhythm. That's an ace for Kennedy Mullenkamp. Couldn't agree with you more, Jeff. Fort Recovery needs to take advantage of this, see if they can keep the Redskins on their heels a little bit and fight their way back into the set. Mullenkamp will serve it deeper. Set at the net and Nice save by Fort Recovery, and free balling back over is Mara Pearson. Quick set, near side, and off the block, and the kill is good by Brandewee. Again, Brandewee, the second leading uh, killer, if you will, for Fort Lermy. That's st that statistic gets one right there behind Summer Hoying, who leads the squad. We've seen her hit a few real hard today thus far as well. And the spike sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter, Mercer County Athletics. Tipped over, short and in by Mara Pearson. Great play by Pearson right there. Does a nice job of finding the hardwood inside the 10 foot line. Couldn't really get a kill on that or a swing on it the way it was uh, coming up to the net. Does a great job of adjusting. Good dig by Grillo. And back over and it's in. Nice <laughs> shot by Summer Hoy. And the line judge called it in, but you can tell her at Fort Recovery's gym, she didn't want to. Her non yeah, was like, were like, uh, gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just yeah. inside the line. Yeah, but we appreciate, again, a lot of these are parents and uh, friends or sisters. And volunteers, yes, too. Yes, uh-huh. This one, a spike and a kill off the double block by taking Fort Camp. Yeah, Fort Camp again, as we said earlier, leads her squad in that category. 227 for the senior coming into today's match. They go to her, she executes. Hallie Wendell, that's an ace. 
Yeah, well, it's the first time, I guess, if you could say a chink in the armor for Fort Laramie is here in this second set. Yeah, Wendell third on the team for Fort Recovery and Aces with 25. Lead serving percentage at 96%. That's who you want behind the serving line if you're Coach Guggenmiller. Nice save by Wendell off the spike and off the double block. Is taking Fort Camp again from the left front. I'm not going to say they uh, woken or they, they, they're awake now, but Fort Recovery's doing some nice things, Jeff, uh, right here in this run. See if they can keep digging. They've been battling all day, but now dividends are being paid. Pass to a cross court shot is in by Summer Hoying for the kill. Yeah, that's an instant replay. We've seen that all day where she's able to go cross court. Fort Recovery unable to get up there and get a hand on it. You got to get a block against her a little bit again. Hits it at the high point, a lot of velocity on it. Back to serve as Mesher. Gets it over for recovery on the return. It's blocked by Skyler Albers. And back on the Fort Recovery side on the hit by Paige Guggenbiller. Skyler Albers, she leads Fort Laramie in the blocking category with 56 for the senior coming into today's match. That's a nice job right there. Take it Fort Camp, nice dig that time by Brandaway and tip back over by Fort Laramie. Allie Wendell back for Ticket Fort Camp and she hits it soft into the net. Went to her the first time, Fort Laramie able to recover and then the second time unable to get it over the net. Fort Laramie with the point and they, they reestablished momentum on their side of, of the net here in set two a little bit, Jeff. Fort Camp again, back over, nice dig by Mesher. That time, Hoing got, tried to get it through a double block and it went behind the front line and for a point for full recovery. Yeah, Sage Luthold and Paige Guggenbill are both at the net for Fort Recovery. All they do is lead Fort Recovery in blocks. Sage with 48, Paige with 37. Serve over by Heitkamp and a hard spike and kill by Skyler Albers. Yeah, she comes around the back. It's a slide play for Fort Laramie, and she executes, executes it to perfection. A lot of velocity on that kill as well, Jeff. Plethora now, of riches. She's not in, even in the top three in the kill category, but man, she slammed that one. And that one taken for camp is blocked at the net by Skyler Albers again. I think with some assistance by Hoying. 22-13 for Lormy here in set number two. Leading already one set to none. That's off the block on the kill by Kennedy Mullenkamp. A full recovery. Full recovery is purple and white, as you see on your television screen. And for Fort Lormy, they're considered as red and black. Although their jerseys kind of look almost like a, I don't want to say a light orange, but they're red and they're red and black. And that will be an ace. Cuts the lead back to seven. Does Fort Camp. And again, she leads Fort Recovery in the ace category with 35. Coming into today's match. And that's going to be an ace. So again, the Indians, they, they are finding some cracks in the armor, if you will, Jeff, but They've got to find a few more here to get back into this second set with only three points between uh, Fort Laramie and victory in set two. There's another net, one. Another ace to help with the net. So taking Fort Camp is on a run. Yeah, she's putting the ball right through the serving window with three aces in a row, and the curtains are closed. Fort Laramie unable to come up with it. 22-17 on the Reese Myring Company CPA scoreboard. Fort Camp with the serve and then this hit down the line by Hoying is out of bounds. And that's going to force Coach Rogers to take his first time out of the match here in set two, Jeff. Great execution by Fort Laramie here as we roll along. 22-18, Fort Laramie with the lead on the Reese Myring and Company CPA scoreboard. You're watching Ohio Volleyball, WOSN.
We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. We'll see if Fort Recovery can continue this run right here coming out of the timeout. A great timeout by Coach Rogers. See how his troops respond. That one's tipped short by Ellen Furling. So another point for Tegan Forkamp and the Indians. Yeah, after going down 25-13 in set one, Fort Recovery has bounced back. Just can they climb the mountain and get ahead here down three late in set two? Tipped over the net by Frilling and back over quickly by Pearson of Fort Recovery. Tipped back over by Hoing of Fort Laramie. Tipped at the net by Mar Pearson and diving for it was Callie Wendell. Could not come up with it. So that breaks the set for Fort Recovery. Big point for the Redskins right there. Back to service, Hoing. Tegan Camp gets the kill. Off the touch, you're right, Jeff. Down three. You want to be aggressive if you're Fort Recovery. The court's a little bigger on your side because if, when in doubt, you want to hit it. If you think it's close to the line, see if they can dig into this three-point disadvantage. Quick set and blocked at the net by Fort Recovery by Mara Pearson. Great block by Pearson. Cuts the lead to two. They get a point here. We'll see if Coach Rogers decides to use another timeout or not. It was a, a nice, decent lead for Fort Laurie, and that's evaporated here in set number two. Brandaway has her shot blocked, gets it back, tips it back over, saved by Mark Pearson for recovery. Taking Fort Camp, hits it short into the net. Great effort right there. Just couldn't quite get her footwork the way she wanted. Had to come across and make sure she was behind that 10-foot line. Unfortunately, as a result, she put it in the net. Got to play great defense right now for your Fort Recovery here at set point for the Redskins. Skyler Albers back to serve, and it's out. <laughs> Just a little bit too long. Mara Pearson made about three different decisions as that ball was in flight, but <laughs> you know what matters? She made the right one for her team as it goes out of bounds. The last one was the right one. Back to serve, Kennedy Mullenkamp, it does. And this goes off the block of Brandaway who gets the kill off the full recovery block. And Fort Laramie takes second set, 25-22. And that is the Reese, Myring, and Company CPA's scoreboard right now. Fort Laramie up two sets to none. We'll have set three from Fortside Fieldhouse and Fort Recovery coming up on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Along with Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Overholzer. Our camera operator is Jacob O'Neill. And the editor for this match will be Megan Sherrick. We also like to thank Fort Recovery Athletic Director Amy Potcotter for allowing us to be here for this volleyball match. You know, the one thing I was talking to the Fort Laramie coach, John Rogers, before the matchup, I, I asked him point blank, I said, these are the kind of matches you want to play to get yourself tournament ready. So no matter what happens in this, you get your teams ready for the upcoming tournament. Absolutely, for both squads. Uh, obviously a great venue down here at the Forsyth Fieldhouse, and both teams getting after it. And as you said, Coach Rogers saying it's a, it's a great test for us. And then if you're Coach Guggenbiller right now, I know you're down two sets to zero, but you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself in the sense that you really competed and came back from a huge deficit in set two. Ladies, if we can get off on the right foot, who knows what might happen here. So. The first five points of this third set, it's critical for Fort Recovery. They were down eight to four in both the first and second set. 
they need to be there from the beginning and fight all the way through. Let's see what happens, Jeff. Before recovery gets to serve, taking for camp and return back over, hit long out of bounds by Summer Owing. So momentum, even though Fort Laramie came away with set two, momentum is clearly on Fort Recovery side of the net right now. They got to continue to build off of it. That service long out of bounds by Mar Pearson. Taking four camp before recovery after the first two sets with uh, nine kills, six service points. Skyler Alpers with seven kills and Summer Hoying with 12 kills for Fort Laramie. That one finds the corner on the shot by taking Fort Camp. Dynamite down the line. Fort Camp finds that exposed area. Another area I think that is exposed for Fort Laramie, and it is with most squads. When you're going up for a block, you bring everybody up. All six players, if you notice it on, on the TV set, are up at the 10-foot line. If Fort Recovery can dump to the corners, they might be able to score some points there as well. This one's hit into the net by Summer Hoying, so point for recovery. So this is the best start of the day for mm -hmm. Fort Recovery uh, as they found themselves down early in set one and two. They're up two here in set three. See if they can continue to build off of it. Right back over and hit perfectly by Victoria Mesher on the dig that was right at the net. Yeah, a great dig initially by Mara Pearson. She's second on the squad with 186 of those for Fort Recovery. But again, uh, the Indians have got to get a block at the net a little bit to help their back row out. None on that particular play. Mesher with the serve for Fort Laramie. Going right back as Fort Recovery. You can play it out of the Raptors, but they're not going to be able to play it. But good effort by Fort Laramie. Great effort by the Redskins. But again, Fort Recovery with the point. And they'll look to continue to build here. It just feels like something's brewing a little bit, mm. Jeff, as far as how the Indians have neutralized Lormy a little bit here in set number three. And the scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and Company CPAs. Fort Recovery up now four to three. That was a quick tip and killed by Jenna Barhorse. And where do you go when you need a point? You go to your quarterback, Jenna Barhorse, 634 assists on the season. That's an incredible number right there. She finds the hardwood in the back row. Served by Fort Lormy. The hit back over, that was tipped at the net, and it was. Good hit that time by Kennedy Mullenkamp. So, of course, if it's tipped at the net and goes out of bounds, it's still, it doesn't mean it's an out of bounds. That's type exactly play. right. Fort Camp with the serve. Return and in perfectly by Summer Hoy. And as you say, that she's been di dialing that up all day. Yes, you can. You could put a star by that particular play for Laramie because that's their bread and butter play right there. Bar horse to Hoying when she's on the left side. And man, does she hit the ball with velocity and tenacity right there in that situation. And the spike sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone. Had a lot of those today. And right there is a block and kill by Skyler Albers. Against most teams, what Fort Recovery did right there, they had to battle defensively, transition to offense nicely. Against most teams, you're gonna get a point out of that, not against these Redskins. And now serve into the net. Now Fort Recovery will make a substitution. Kenzie Garkey will come in to serve, replacing Sage Luthold. Quick set, near side, and they've hit that spot a lot. That was Brandewee. Brandewee this particular time, but again, cross court corner pocket for Fort Laramie. The Indians unable to have a block at the net. You can't give them those free looks. It just puts too much pressure on your back row. Mullenkamp back for full recovery. Nice save by Fort Laramie and the free ball back over 
by Hoying. Now back over, nice hit by Mara Pearson. And Pierce that's is actually just trying to get it over exactly. the net. Exactly. I was just going to say, that's where athletic, athleticism comes into play. We've seen it from both sides. Didn't look like Fort Recovery was going to be able to do anything with that as far as uh, offensively, but Pearson puts some heat on that from the back row and finds the hardwood on Lormie's side of the net. Great point for the Indians. And you were wondering if Fort Lormie was thinking, is she even actually going to get it over the net? Mm -hmm. You're exactly right, Jeff. Spike by, uh, served by Mullenkamp. A spike back over and long by Summer Hoy. Obviously, we know she can do that from behind the 10-foot line, but she did look a little out of place because we've seen her doing so much damage from left front. Mullenkamp with the serve. Set. Spike blocked by Fort Recovery at the net by Carly Neekamp. Neekamp with the great block. She's third on the squad in that category. The junior is with 31 of them coming into today's contest. None more important than that one right there. And on the Reese Myring and Company CPA's scoreboard, nine to six for recovery. This one though is a strong spike and kill for Fort Lormie. That was by Ellen Frilling. Yeah, Frilling comes in off the bench and finds herself in position to contribute to her team. Does exactly that in that particular situation. Katie Luthman back to serve for Fort Lormie, and that serve is long and out of bounds. So Coach Rogers' team, the number one team in Division Four, being tested here in set number three. He's a little more animated than he has been the whole match, pacing a little bit on the sideline. Mark Pearson with a serve for full recovery. Set for the near side, and was it touched? Apparently not. That uh, was by Avery Brandaway, and we have a timeout. Fort Lormie and John Rogers on the Reese Myring and Company CPA scoreboard in set three. Fort Recovery 11, Fort Lormie 7. Back with more on WOSN. With Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Oberholzer back here at Fortside Fieldhouse in Fort Recovery. Today's spike sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Now you're starting to see that fire from Fort Recovery. You are, and, and, and it's very impressive how they have, again, just continued to play it point by point. That's an ace. And the other piece, you know, Fort Laramie, as we said, Coach Rogers being a little bit more animated. They've only lost six sets all season. And that's foreign territory for them. So that gets back to what you said earlier, Jeff, about playing quality opponents, getting you ready for tournament. They're, they're tasting it right now. Set, spike. And successful by Avery Brandaway. Yeah, a touch at the net. And I believe it fell in front of the line anyway. So down four, let's see what the Redskins do. And Brandaway will serve. Tegan Fortcamp has it double blocked. That's Victoria Mesher along with Jenna Barhorst. Yeah, those are the second and third respective leaders in the block category for Fort Laramie. Mesher with 53, Barhorst with 32. For recovery off the free ball and back over. That's called an illegal hit, double hit, point. Fort Lormie. Okay, here we are again, Jeff. Crucial part of the match right now. Fort Lormie putting on a little run. The Indians, they got to respond. Tipped over by a full recovery by Neekamp. Passed to the near side, a spike and kill by Summer Hoying. Summer Hoying again in her sweet spot, left front, smashes one through the block. Coach Guggenbill are going to call timeout. Great timeout on his part to stem the tide, hopefully stem the tide. It's high school volleyball on WOSN.
Back here at Fortside Fieldhouse. Fort Laramie leading two sets to none, 25-13, 25-22. And here in set three, the Indians with a slim 12 to 11 lead. Slim lead. Fort Laramie has bitten into it here in this third set. Momentum is now on their side of the net. The, net. the Indians got to neutralize it. Free balling it over. Here's Neekamp. And then off of Fort Laramie, out of bounds. A little bit of a communication error there for the Redskins as Brandon Wee and Mesher bump into each other. They're talking to each other right now, giving each other a high five. Good communication, fix that air. That went off of the double block, Summer Hoying again. It's been summer all day today. <laughs> yeah, the temperature has dropped, <laughs> but you're right. Summer Hoying has had an influence in the gym today. In the field house, it is summer so far <laughs> all day. That shot was just in the corner. Nice hit. Yeah, you got to have some skill to put it right there. But that, those corners have been available here. And in this third set, Fort Recovery has been able to make some money by putting the ball in that place. Back to serve is Kayla Heitkamp. The middle of the back row. Quick set, spike, and successful by Skyler Alberts. Successful, but it goes out of bounds. you got to turn it in a little bit more. And I know it's easier said than done, but a great block, but it, it falls harmlessly out of bounds. Point for the Redskins. Served by Barhorst and back over by Tegan Fortcamp. She gets the kill. I guess right now the... Shorter shots get 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 it done. Yeah, exactly. Again, that defensive circle. There's a hole in the middle, not a very big one on the Fort Laramie side of the net, but Fort Camp finds it on that particular play. Served by Tegan Fort Camp, a free ball back over by Barhorst. Bar Pearson back over. Nice dig by Grillo, and back over and off the block again. Summer Hoy. Coach Guggenbiller saying, when can we get her rotated out of the front <laughs> row and front left? She's killing us. Well, Hoying is back to serve right now. Yep, so she's out of the front row now. A set. The hit back over by Pearson. Touch at the net. Hit back over quickly by Albers. Back over for recovery and finds the corner. That is Kennedy Mullenkamp. Outstanding play. Both sides, the Indians get the point, but wow, what a save at mm. the net that turned into a set and a kill, or not a kill, but a kill attempt for Fort Laramie. The Indians dug it out, but man, some great athleticism on display right there, Jeff. Kenzie Garkey back to serve for Fort Recovery, that's into the net. When you have a momentum like that, that's not something you really want to do. Yeah, just it, it like opens up the door and gives you a chance to see the sunlight coming in, staying with the summer analogy a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, Fort Laramie, if you're an Indians fan, might take advantage of that. Albers back to serve, gets it over, and the block is there for Fort Laramie, and that is Brandaway. And she turned that in. That's something that, again, Fort Recovery has had a little bit more of a challenge being able to do. But she does an outstanding job, does Brandewee right there, turning that ball back in so it's not out of bounds when it comes down. Albers with a successful serve. Set for Mar Pearson, and it's off the block, but they keep it alive. Well, recovery comes right back. And the open spot is hit by Brandewee. An outstanding defensive play by Skyler Albers back there. She saved it, allowed her team a chance, and they make do on it, and now they're ahead. The Indians, or excuse me, the Redskins with the one-point advantage. Mark Pearson hitting it sideways across the net, and then free-balling it over is Brandaway. And quickly back over for recovery, and a diving play successful by Albers. Back is for recovery, ticket for camp. It's a great volley. <laughs> yes, it is. Free balling over is Brandaway. Back set is Mullenkamp. She finds the corner just in front of Albers. 
So the Indians, they keep pounding those deep corners right there. Skylar Albers, a display in the back row. She just didn't want to give up her serve, <laughs> no, Jeff. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, unable to come up with that last one. She's getting a lot of high fives on the bench coming off the court. Service over by Mullenkamp. The return by Brandewee. Taking Fort Camp back over on a shorter hit. The set from the right side is successful a kill by Ellen Furling. Yeah, Jenna Barhorse with the back set. As we said early in the broadcast, Barhorse going to become a Xavier Musketeer, play volleyball down in Cincy. Just running, running the show for the Redskins. The Reese Myring and Company CPA scoreboard. It's now 19-17 at Fort Lormie. And Coach Guggenbiller, he's going to take a timeout, a great timeout on his part, Jeff. So Katie Luthman will get the point. And now it looks like Fort Lormie may be primed to take it 3-0, and this is not the way the, really the volleyball match has gone today. Yeah, it'll in the scorecard or the scorebook it'll, and in the newspaper, it'll be 3-0, Jeff, but it's been an outstanding match. We've seen the Indians, you know, really – dissect Fort Loramie a little bit as the match is going on to try and put themselves in a position to win a set. But Fort Loramie has taken the Indians' best shot, and they've responded, and they find themselves up two with uh, here in set three. Well, yeah, and the good thing I think that uh, Travis Guggenbiller can look at, they, they, were, they lost 25-13 that first set, but they've been really on it in sets two and three. They have. It's been a growing experience for them as well to make themselves better again as we get closer and closer to the best time of the year uh, for any season. It's tournament time. That uh, hit by Mar Pearson into the net. That increases Fort Laramie's lead. Point going to Jaden Rose. As you said, Laramie up three. The Indians have to respond right here. Back set, hit back over by Guggenbiller. And this time, they cannot save an out of the net by Jenna Barhorst. Carly Niekamp with the block at the net. The junior does a nice job getting her team a point, down two. Today's spike sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Blocked at the net on the spike by Brandon Wee. Well, recovery coming right back, taking Fort Camp. Quick set, tipped back over by Mesher. Near side, Guggenbiller. Now a thundering spike and out down the line on the hit by Brandewey. Yeah, most of the time from the left front, we see uh, Fort Lormie going cross court. Brandewey tries to go down the line, doesn't do it successfully. The Indians cut the lead to one. Quick tip over, saved by Fort Recovery. Taking Fort Camp back over and gets the kill. What a great transition from defense to offense. Pearson goes down and gets that one and gets her team an opportunity and they make do it, do on it with the Fort Camp spike. Well again, uh, Fort Lormie up two sets to none and now we're tied at 20 here in set three. We just want uh, those viewers to know that WOSN is going to be there for football, for volleyball, uh, whatever else sports we have it for you here on TV 44. It's just a great piece for Northwest Ohio. Uh, our communities get to be able to watch high quality high school athletes in various sports, WOSN. That's, it isn't like this all over the state. And matter of fact, other parts of the state, they're like, you do what up there? And WOSN just does an outstanding job, Jeff. Yeah, and you can also say it's in high definition. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. First one to five, unless we go overtime, which could very easily happen here. A spike back over, a short hit by Mesher. Tipped over by Guggenbiller for recovery. Right at the net, jump ball, and... They're going to say the Brandewee was in the net. In the net, but an impressive play. Mm. They were battling both sides above the tape. Brandewee, she hit it on the backside of her hand, but her fingers touched the tape. Great call by this 
officiating crew, has done, who's done an outstanding job today. Brandaway coming back. Wendell keeps it alive for full recovery. Back over. Quick hit by Barhorst. Now reloading his Fort Laramie and hitting it into the net is Brandaway. What a comeback by Fort Recovery. They were down 20 to 18, I believe, Jeff. Mm -hmm. They were down two. They're on a 4 0 run. Momentum on their side. Here we go. You know how big this would be because if Fort Loramie wins, this one's into the, uh, into the net by Mark Pearson. Fort Loramie wins, they win 3-0. If Fort Recovery wins, they go to a set four. If Fort Recovery wins that one, it goes to a set five. So there's a lot going on here. Absolutely. And away with uh, the uh, service. Back over is Fort Camp. To the money player, and that's it. Summer Hoing. I was just going to go there as they rotate, and I was going to say Hoing's back in the front row. <laughs> it's been a challenge for the Indians, as it has been for every squad that Fort Lormy has played this year. Summer Hoing in her power position right now. 17 kills for Hoing, and that was a quick hit over by Kennedy Mullenkamp for Fort Recovery. Mullenkamp does a great job from the setter position. She has 218 assists on the season. That particular play, she says, I'm going for the hole in the middle, executes it to perfection. Passes up to the net and into the net for the first time is Summer Hoying. Set point for the Indians. They have played inspired volleyball from about the middle of set two on. See if they can reward themselves and push it to set number four. And it looks like they will. What a huge comeback for Fort Recovery. 25-22, just like set two, only the roles reverse. A great, great set for Fort Recovery. Coach Guggenbiller, he's coming over to the table to put his line in, lineup in for set number four. He's got a smile on his face. Put a little pressure on these Redskins. And again, that's good for both squads, what we're seeing thus far today, Jeff. Again, you're watching Ohio High School Volleyball. Right now, Fort Laramie leads two sets to one of her full recovery. Fort side will have more coming up on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. What a tremendous comeback for the Indians in set number three. You're exactly right, Jeff. Coming out in set number three and getting a great start was key for them to battle through that set. You know, oftentimes you say as a coach to your team, um, you can never win the game at the or a set in this situation at the very beginning but you can lose it. And that's what sort of happened to Fort Recovery in the first two sets. They didn't get off to a good start. Fort Laramie did. The Indians had to play catch up the whole set and therefore their mentality was a little different. Set number three, they come out and they're ahead. They force Fort Laramie to take an early time out and they just continued to battle. And as a result, they rewarded themselves with a set win. All I can say, again, it's imperative that the Indians come out and try and establish themselves early, get a run going early, continue to put pressure on this number one ranked team in Division Four, Fort Laramie, and rightly so. I've seen a lot of good volleyball, great volleyball this season, but this Fort Laramie Indian squad, they are tough. The Redskins versus the Indians. Service over and off a double block is Tegan Portcamp. So what a way right there to get that first point and continue to say, hey, Big Mo, big momentum. We want to keep you on our side of the net. Let's see how the Indians uh, can continue to uh, roll with that and how the Redskins respond. Jump at the net, tipped over by full recovery by Guggenbiller. This one a hit by Hoing and they could, she could not get it through the double block of Fort Recovery. And again, all six players for Fort Laramie up at the 10 foot line, that's great as far as being able to get that block up, 
but man, there's nothing behind. And the way Hoying hits the ball, a lot of times that block is going to push it to the back. That's what we saw right there. And off the block and spike and kill is by Summer Hoying, her 18th. So I was going to mention for Fort Laramie, it's been Summer Hoying, uh, Avery, Avery Brandewee, and Skyler Albers. And for Fort Recovery, it's been Tegan Fortcamp, Mar Pearson, and Kennedy Mullenkamp. Not saying that these teams, there's a kill, a soft kill by Paige Guggenmiller. Not saying that none of the other players matter. I'm just saying that it evolves around them and then all the other players just come in and help out. Exactly. It's, it's, it's like they're the big three right now for both squads. And that's what I've seen with the teams that are ranked very, very high in their respective divisions. They've got a big three as far as hitters are concerned. It's not just one girl. That spike by Hoing. Goes off the double block out of bounds. And both these teams bring multiple hitters, which makes it tough again for you defensively on where you want your blockers to be rotating. Tegan Fortcamp has it blocked and then hit into the net on the set by Sage Lufo. Skylar Albers with the block. We see, we watched her in the last set do a lot of action in the back row. She does it right there in the front row, the leader in blocks for Fort Laramie this season. This one back, that will be an ace. It's okay, the bar Coach, horse with an ace. Yep, Coach Guggenbiller started to walk over to the floor official, one Betsy Pettit Jean, but didn't take a time out there. I don't think he's going to let his squad fall too far behind before using one, but maybe they'll take care of things and get a point right here, Jeff. Off the double block on the spike by Hoying. Quick set the middle, and the shot is good by Lufold. That actually went off, yikes, off the face of Barhorst. Yeah, Luthold with the kill from the middle hitter position. We haven't seen the Indians utilize that middle hitter position very often in this match. Might be a weapon they could go to here down the stretch. And that's an ace serve by Tegan Fortcamp. Again, Fortcamp, she leads the Indians with aces this year. 35 coming into today's contest. Well, it was a tight one in junior varsity with Fort Laramie winning two sets to one. That is in the net by Tegan Fortcamp. Before recovery in the JV matchup, won 25-22, and then it turned around and awakened Fort Laramie. They won 25-14, 25-11. And here in the fourth set, Fort Laramie up two sets to one. That hit is out of bounds by Fort Camp. Now 6-5. Fort Laramie on the Reese Myring and Company CPA scoreboard. Both teams have been battling. The Indians continuing to fight back. Maybe they just need to catch their breath here, take a deep breath and relax and continue to play like they have in set three. Off the block on the hit by Mullenkamp. Return. That spike is good by Albers. Albers with the kill. She has a total of 10. She's just had an all around great, great a uh, match today from front row and back row. And an ace. I think Guggenmiller is not going to wait too much longer. He feels the tide maybe shifting a little bit. Not going to use a timeout here. See if his team can respond. Take a fork camp. Dig by Barhorse. And Barhorse gets it back and then Gets it back on the other side by Sage Luthold a full recovery. Yeah, Luthold does a great job of timing that one at the net. The leader in blocks for the Indians. A senior has 48 statistically coming into today's match. Great one right there. Kenzie Garkey back to serve for the Indians. That's long out of bounds. Great decision by the back row for Fort Laramie to let that one sail long. You can pick up those easy points like that. It, it does nothing but help your squad. Lormy with a three-point lead. Albers back to serve. A set back to Tegan Fortcamp. And the return by Albers hits the upper part of the steel. 
and Karen back down and could not take care of it. Albers with the dig, but so much velocity mm. on that spike put it all the way up into the ceiling, into the rafters. Taking Fort Camp will hit this one short into the net. All I can say is that the ice machine better be working <laughs> effectively because there have been a lot of spikes. You're going to need it for their shoulders, and there have been a lot of one arm bandits and digs and everything taking that volleyball. Keeping it alive is Pearson. Albert, uh, not Albers, but uh, Brandaway with the tip over, back over by Guggenbiller. Back again by Brandaway. Tipped over by Mar Pearson. Brandaway again gets it blocked at the neck, keeps it alive. Players going all over the place, and it was Hoying who would finish it off. On that particular volley, when when uh, Fort Recovery was in a position to go for the kill, defensively Fort Lorney has made it, the adjustment a little bit in this set, Jeff. They have not allowed the corners to be as exposed as they did uh, earlier in the match. And as a result, those holes aren't there, but the Indians are trying to find them. But again, Fort Lormy, very, very good defensively, and they've made some adjustments here in set number four. Yeah, and you're looking at uh, the way the sets have been going, and Fort Recovery took that third set. They had the momentum coming into this fourth set, but now Fort Lormy has taken that to four-point advantage. And we'll see now what happens out of the timeout. Again, and the, uh, the timeouts that Fort Recovery has taken, well, both squads, because uh, Coach Rogers has done that in sets three and four. They have worked for them uh, effectively, if you will, and we'll see if that occurs again here for the Indians. All right, back to serve for Fort Lormy is Ellen Frilling, and that, I would consider that an ace. Really wasn't taken care of from the start. So, Furling will continue to serve for Fort Lormy, now five-point lead. And Fort Recovery can't take care of that one. So these last two points, again, the Indians look a little discombobulated, if you will, unable to effectively return the serve of Frilling. Mark Pearson has it blocked at the net by Mesher. I know you, yep, Coach Guggenbiller, he's going to take that second time out. I think it's a great call, Jeff. All right, now it's a 14 to 7 advantage. Fort Lormie here in set number four on the Reese Myring and Company CPA's scoreboard, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. So I guess if you're Guggenbiller, what do you say now? You just got to say, okay. Uh, Dig in, ladies. Let's keep fighting. Let's get reestablished. Again, understand. Uh, it seemed like maybe they had a, a couple players trying to help out too much, stepped into a teammate's line of vision or where it was the ball was going to go. They tried to help out. Just play your role. Play your role. We know how to play this game of volleyball, uh, ladies. So let's get back to who we are here coming out of this timeout. Continuing to serve is Furling. Well, recovery comes right back and a hard spike and kill by Carly Neekamp. And I think it was, I know it was his second time out, but I think it was a great call by Coach Guggenbiller. You just can't get down against this Fort Laramie squad. They, they've experienced that early in the match. Now they got to dig out of it. And they can. They've shown they can do that, but it's got to happen now. Served by Mara Pearson. Quick hit back over. Now free ball by Pearson from the back line. Good play by Barhorst, blocked at the net. Barhorst with a set. Brandaway back over for Fort Lormy. Cross court hit. And down the line is again or what? Yay, nay. They say no. The Indians were hoping for a touch at the net. They don't get the call. And the ball sails wide. Big point for the Redskins off of a very tenacious volley for both squads. Back to serve will be Avery Brandaway. Oh, 
So Guggenbiller will free ball it back over. The set, the hit is long out of bounds by Hoy. Again, going to their pet play, their bread and butter, Summer Hoying on the left front, but unable to execute it on that particular play. Let's see if the Indians can build off of it. Callie Wendell with the serve. Quick set. Spike is back over. Diving play by Mar Pearson. Keep it alive and free ball over by Guggenbiller. Quick set. This one is a spike and kill by Victoria Mesher. Mesher with the kill. I got to give credit to Sage Luthold for for recovery. She was there for the block on that short set, but unfortunately unable to get a hand on it just because of the athleticism with the kill. Mesher back to serve. Set for Fort Camp, and she gets the kill, her 14th. And she has done a lot of that uh, damage going down the line. We see it on display right there again. Hoying from the left front, Fort Camp from the left front, Hoying going cross court, Fort Camp going down the line. Kayla High Camp with the serve toward the net, tipped over successfully by Barhorst. And this has been happening where the player that does the great job is back to serve. This is Barhorst. It's sort of like in baseball, the person who makes a great defensive play to end the inning, and then they're up first. Taking Fort Camp with a kill. That's off the block and out of bounds on the Fort Lormy side. We see that happen a lot as well, don't we, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Back to serve is taking Fort Camp. A free ball over. Wow. Free ball over by Skylar Albers. Well, again, a little bit and of she's miscommunication. Going, hmm, yeah, I got it in. Well, Summer Hoying came in, and uh, Albers was ready to hit it, and Hoying and Albers, they made contact. I'm not so sure who got their hand on that ball. I think Hoying might have. Serve over by Hoying, and return by full recovery, blocked at the net by the Indians. Taking Fort Camp, nice dive on the play by Barhorst, and then right at the net, full recovery gets it. Yeah, great defensive play by Barhorst, but the Indians do what you should do with a free ball coming over the net like that. They slam it down and get the point, cut the lead to six. Back to serve is Megan Evers. Back over is Brandewee, and she'll get the kill. Brandewee spikes that one from not in uh, behind the 10-foot line, but right on it. Touch at the net, change the trajectory in the back row of Fort Recovery, unable to come up with it. Back to serve, that's an ace off the top of the net by Alberts. I'm still not sold on whether I like that or not. Again, we've been around a long time. Used to be if you touch the net on the serve and the old type of scoring, it was mm -hmm. illegal. Uh, I know some players, they actually work at that to make that an effective part of their repertoire, but man, that's tough on the defense. For recovery underneath the net, that's a violation on Kayla Heitkamp. Tough situation right there. Momentum took her across the, the, the line at the bottom, directly underneath the net for the violation. Continuing to serve is Skyler Albers. That's an ace. So Fort Laramie extends the lead to 10. And again, uh, just so impressive. Fort Recovery takes the third set in the in, in the Redskins bounce back here in set number four. Going to be tough for the Indians right now, but you just got to keep digging, Jeff. Serve over. Kennedy Mullenkamp back over. Quick set. And the spike and kill is there by Victoria Mesher. Mesher with the kill. Barhorse with the set. Just so effective. Jenna Barhorse setting up her teammates and putting the defense at a disadvantage. 
Reese Myring and company CPA scoreboard. Taking Fort Camp. And it's out. So now this is match point. I like the thought right there by Fort Camp. It was open just a little too far outside the white line, unfortunately. 12 point advantage now for Fort Lormie. They can wrap it up with this point and win the match. Shot is good by Mar Pearson. She says, not just yet. Not just yet, and the nonverbals for Fort Recovery, they're outstanding. They're just playing the point at hand. No negative sense from them out there at all. Just keep digging. Compete. Return. Now they need to free ball it back over and do by Guggenbiller, but it's out of bounds, and that will end this matchup at Fortside Fieldhouse in Fort Recovery, Ohio, as the scores are identical. Fort Lormie wins set number one, 25-13, wins 25-22, Fort Recovery wins set three, 25-22, and Fort Lormie wins set four, 25-13. You see the, the familiarity <laughs> yeah. going on there with yeah. the scores? Uh huh. And you know, coming back and winning that fourth set by 12 points, it, again, it's sort of like they they awoke the sleeping giant a little bit in Fort Recovery by coming away with that third set victory. Again, we saw the momentum switch in set two a little bit. Uh, Coach Guggenbiller and his squad, outstanding effort today. You can see why they're ranked number eight in Division three. They battled. They fought going against the number one team in Division Four in Fort Loramie, but that number one ranking is well-deserved. As I said during the match, I've seen some quality volleyball this season. So have you, Jeff. This Fort Loramie team is the real deal. And Fort Loramie improves to 19-2 and two on the season. Fort Recovery drops to 14-5 and five with a defeat. But these are two teams watch out when you get into tournament play in Ohio high school volleyball. You're exactly right. Uh, Division four, uh, as we said, uh, Fort Laramie ranked number one, New Bremen ranked number two, Tiffin Calvert number three, Crestview number four. Uh, you can toss a coin with those four teams because they are all quality teams. And I think we're gonna see some matchups between those four teams, probably at the regional and then state level, uh, if I had to put my money on it right now, Jeff. Yeah, and this week's poll in Division Four, Crestview fourth, Marion Local ninth, tied for 20th, Minster and St. John's also in the MAC. Division Three, Lake Catholic number one, Coldwater number two, St. Henry three, Fort Recovery eighth, and Versailles number 15. So a lot of uh, quality teams out there. A lot of quality teams, and then when the MAC and the Shelby County Athletic League meet up you get this kind of action you open the the show with that today jeff and we saw it today the shelby county athletic league comes away with the victory over the mac but they had to fight for every single point point. and the bragging rights as you mentioned go to the shelby county league summer hoing with the 20 kills uh, avery brandaway with eight points and for fort recovery uh, Tegan Fortcamp had 15 kills, and uh, Mar Pearson had eight service points. So it's been a great day of volleyball. And uh, keep listening and watching for WOSM because there's football, there's volleyball tournament games coming up. So keep it here on TV 44. Always a pleasure, Dave Bowen, to work with you. Thanks very much. You can be my wingman any day. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. It was a pleasure. And Nothing like coming down here to the Fort Sight Fieldhouse and seeing it happen on the hardwood. And our viewers, it's going to be a great, it's a great match for them to watch. And these players, they love coming back and turning on WSN and watching themselves compete. And that's really neat for the student athletes to be able to do as well. I'd like to thank Fort Recovery Athletic Director Amy Potcotter for allowing us to be here. Thanks to cameraman Jacob O'Neill and editor will be Megan Sherrick. For Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Oberholzer. Thanks for watching Ohio Volleyball on WOSN.